Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome to the first look for the demo version of Front Mission First. The game came out uh, like the previous month, I think. It has uh, pretty good reviews. Uh, the demo just maybe came out, I just saw it anyway. And it looks interesting, so I wanted to check it out. I do have... It's a very relaxing uh, music. Cool. Let's do it. This is a remake, as far as I understand it. I have not played the original. So I don't know. We'll take the modern one. That's the point of a remake, right? Modernize an older game. Some people will bitch and moan about uh, butchering the original, but me. Alright. One Zed Instructor. Welcome to Huffman Island. I'm Sergeant Glenn Duval, your personal one trainer. Just call me Road. You're older than me and you've been in the service far longer than I have. Or far longer, whatever. Like these effects. Hmm. Alright, Lieutenant. I mean, uh, Road. I don't usually take part in training exercises like this, but the brass thinks you show great promise as a one pilot. So they asked me to train you. So no voice acting as far as I can see. Thanks. Still, I wonder. I've never seen a lieutenant as young as you. How did you do it? Hopefully from what I'm seeing this game will actually have storyline and like, uh, you know, the other recent mecha game that I played which I really liked but there was zero storyline. It was super disappointing because the gameplay was pretty cool. Just like I guess. I made it out alive from all the hot zones they kept sending me into. And now you're on Huffman, another potential hot zone. Personally, I'd say you have rotten luck. Depends on how you look at it, Sergeant. Okay, let's start with the basics. Alright, let's go. Start with the... Uh, okay. Yep. Alright. Grass. Oh, dirt. That's nice. They, do, they all have different things. Rain can also offer varying degrees of cover. Cover will give you defensive bonuses under enemy fire. Learn to capitalize on these points and you'll be halfway to winning the battle. Alright. Well, okay. I'm gonna play with mouse and keyboard because, yeah, that's what I know, I guess. Profilm, left mouse uh, button, right button, cancel. Uh, switch tab left, switch tab right. Hopefully they will show this. Only in the modern game will that's interesting. Game. Hopefully they will actually teach this to us in game and not just oh here are all the buttons. Remember them. It looks cool. Oh man, ruins have a lot of cover. Uh what is a normal Threads, tires, and hover, I don't know. Good. Moving your Wanzer shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Wanzers can be equipped with a weapon in each hand. You can also mount weapons and shields on each soldier. Soldier. However, you can use only one of these weapons when you attack. Let me put four weapons and use only one. What? There are also three attack types, melee, short range and long range. Okay. There is your target. 
Okay. All targets in range will be designated by red square. Select the square to target an enemy. Then choose the weapon you want to use. Okay. Can I not move the camera with the WSD? I guess not. Movement seems fast. Uh, four times six, seventy four accuracy, I guess. Nine eighty two accuracy. What is that one by one there? I don't know. Let's melee them. Let's Mainly, uh, melee attacks are mainly used to focus damage on one location. If you have the proficiency level, you can even attack before they do. Now, try attacking the target with a different weapon. Okay. Short range attacks are the bread and butter of Wanzer combat. The number of attacks performed and their damage differ by weapon type. We're getting experience per action, which is very one of the tactics, I guess. Can I see their health or anything? Offensive maneuvers can be a great option when facing opponents with superior firepower. The less damage you take, the longer you'll be in the fight. Alright, there we go. Body 12, warm 1, legs 18. They seem to do more damage. Oh, come on, you missed. He has like one hit point. Also, he always plays faster than me for some reason. I wonder why and what. Um, I don't see any initiative. That's. It could be the weapon, I guess. Great work. It didn't seem like great work, but okay. But AI opponents aren't what you'll be facing on the battlefield. For your final training, you'll have to face me. By the way, there are repair items in your Wanzer's backpack. Like to use item from the... This is very... Um, strategy RPG. So far. Select use item to repair. Okay. Uh, use item. Repair S, repair S, repair S. Very well. All the combats gonna be right next to each other? <laughs> I can't shoot him either? Really? Okay. Seems unfair to fight uh, when I'm already hurt and he isn't. are not going that well. Can I repair my legs? Okay. 
Oh, can repair and attack. Oh damn, he lost an arm and I guess the weapon too. Yeah. But I can't aim, right? Maybe that happens later. Like this isn't battle tech where you could uh, aim a specific uh, body part. So far. Like aim for both uh, hands and that's it. You don't need to hit the body or anything. They can't fire. It. They can't hit you. Uh, bonus XP level two. Pilot droid. Uh, melee plus fourteen. Okay. game. Wow, the body is, well, was almost gone. They weren't kidding when they said you had talent. No wonder you made lieutenant so fast. Thanks. But I could tell you were holding back, sergeant. Why? I'm sorry, I didn't do it on purpose. You see, I have a childhood friend who's now in the UCS army and he's about your age, that's a very strange thing to say. <laughs> so are we wasting these mechs? I'm guessing they aren't in them or something. They are uh, anything from afar. Rent in the UCS. Yeah. We were both born and raised on Hatman before all this hit between the OCU and the UCS flared up. Those were good days. It felt like you were aiming a weapon at this friend, so you held back? I guess so. I really hope there isn't another war on this island, Roid. Many people have friends and family on the other side. Oh, before I forget, I have orders from the command for you. You are being promoted to the rank of captain. Wow, that goes fast. <laughs> and being appointed as leader of your own recon squad. There I hope they give a reason for that. Your meteoric uh, rise. Alright, kill bonus 170, repair cost 0. Now, is there a uh, select campaign? Oh, so you side. Okay, only so you side, I guess. You say side. Uh -huh. So, it has two different campaigns from different sides. This art is interesting, to say the least. Okay. Is there out of combat stuff? Or is it all mission, mission, mission? Is there uh, like an overworld, like a headquarters or anything? Uh, 900 hours, board. A light submarines in the Halfman Island. Okay. Uh, zero four hundred hours rendezvous at waypoint. Thirty clicks offshore. Port Monus. Transfer to camouflage cargo ship and proceed to the landing point. Commence covert reconnaissance operation. Uh, you are prohibited from engaging in any hostile action. Okay. Stealth mission. Interesting. This is Rabbit 1. I've reached the recon point. How does it look? It's quiet. Too quiet, maybe. I don't see anyone. The character models are very... Um, JRPG like in their style. I'm not sure if the game is uh, Japanese in origin or it's Japomas or something. Be careful, Karen. Don't worry, Rude. I'll be fine. Famous last words. Luigi. I guess it is right because they have even the names. 
Lieutenant Moore is capable soldier captain. I know you two are engaged, but you should not worry yourself. So, wow. Things escalated quickly. Yes, I know. Thanks. Now clear comes. Apologies, Captain, but I have to wonder. Why go to all this trouble of violating the treaty even to recon this rundown factory? All I can say is this is part of someone's agenda and I don't like it. This factory. What's wrong, Karen? Can't believe that this isn't but this is horrible come discipline by the way. Come on. State your you know what's happening clearly. This is gonna die like in five seconds. Karen, report. Yep. Enemy wonders, but how? Why didn't we pick them up earlier? We have to get Karen out of there. We're going in. Driscoll, you are right on time. Now let us see how well they've trained you. So can pass through them, okay. I'm surrounded? Jesus, you don't seem good at your job, Karen. Wow. Well done, a new pilot first reaction to incoming fire is to cover the right camera. Not the torso where the cockpit is. Alas, that valiant effort will be in vain. Oh, she got wrecked instantly. So dead. Dead? What did you... Um, <laughs> what kind of pain was that? This is super basic uh, as far as I can see. To compare it to something like Battletech at least. Karen, hang on. Right, no, stay back. Can't hang on and we won't stay back, so, you know. I think that guy did 68 damage, by the way, which kills all of us. That's what I can see pretty instantly. She doesn't play at all, by the way. Yeah. Uh, not gonna him. Well, there goes Karen. As I said. Don't see eject or anything. Maybe we should leave. This doesn't seem like a good idea. We don't seem to have any percentages to hit, we just hit. Or we miss, but we don't get any information about it. Also good. <laughs> Again, this is a remake, right? So if it's an old game, it makes sense that it's rather uh, simplistic. Is there reason to ever use the ants? Has better uh, accuracy, but we have infinite ammo and we fire. A lot more with the other weapon, so I don't see why you would uh, use the pants. You'll pay for this. Can I fire from over here instead of going right next to it? I guess all our weapons are short range. Oh, what's this? What? That's a sniper. Why would I need to go close with a sniper? That's weird. I like how they show you that 
when you destroy a part, it's destroyed on the character model too. That missile guy can't hit shit. That's interesting, right? You attack even when they attack you. And vice versa. God damn it. Did you miss that, Luigi? I never liked you in persona. He lost his hand so he couldn't attack me. And again, it's weird that it's randomized and you don't actually... Pick. Wow! You suck, Luigi. I mean, it could be because we're right next to them, but still. Driscoll. This should be enough. Now to cleanse this place with righteous fire. What? Captain, stand back. June 3rd, 2019, the Larkus Incident. The Unified Continental States publicly accused the Oceania Cooperative Union of sending Wanzers on a mission to destroy UCS military factories in the Larkus district. The OCU responded by denying an involvement with the attack and in turn accused. That's too fast. Diplomatic efforts. Let's, it's not too fast to read, but it's too fast to um, narrate for me at least. <laughs> Once the pilots who were present at the site were reclassified as missing in action. Okay. It's about any knowledge of our uh, existence. A year after the Lacos incident. Okay. So it seems like it's going from mission to mission with some. 40 bits in the middle. Doesn't seem like there is any management in the game. Arena manager, you're up next. Get in your ones there. So basically, we are. Uh, we're not part of the army anymore and we're mercenaries or something. We're in the arena anyway. Right, Clive, we need to talk. Didn't you see the sign on the door? Authorized personnel only. Get the hell out. Hold on, who are you? Come on, it's your turn on the arena floor, Roid. Go on, I'll speak with you later. And now, the night's main event. Hold hot on a 12 match winning streak. Roid Hellspawn Clive vs. Jack Crimson Sutherland. Uh, now we have a lot of weapons. 4 times 362. 
uh, one times 1068 damn seems like crappier weapons than what we had before this is a different mech I don't remember what it looked like all right let's use Missed bits. The pants. Miss. Ugh. He destroy. Damn, he destroy two of my attacks. That was very close. Congratulations, you have won the match. Nicely done. Glad I didn't go through all this trouble for nothing. My name is Olson. I'm in command of the Canyon Crows mercenary group. There we go. I knew it would be mercenaries. Affiliated with the OCU army. They're using mercs now. That's right. Just between you and me, the OCU is losing. Bad. The army refuses to admit that it couldn't slug this way out of a wet paper bag. And so we need mercenaries. Real soldiers like you, Ruid. You've come to recruit me? I've passed on the draw. Yes, I want you to work for me. I want you to lead the crows. I'm not going back to the army. But even to avenge Karen's death? How would you know about that? Everything. A man in my position has to do his homework. You were in Larkus at the time of the infamous incident when Karen was killed in action by UCS forces. You were unceremoniously discharged, your records and your very existence deleted from the OCU databanks. And you've spent the last year drifting from one town to the next, earning your pay as an arena prize fighter in dumps like this. Come with me and you'll get a chance to find the man who killed Karen. That's the least you can do for her, don't you think? Where do I sign? Wow, oh, dude, you're easily manipulated. Good, welcome to the cruise. There is a transport plane waiting for you at the airport. That will take you to your first assignment. Visit my office in the military ward once you're ready. And take this, 1,000 half-man dollars. To cover any once upgrades you might need. All right. Oh, there is other stuff. Uh, what do we have? Five, two, one, ten. And what do I have now? I don't remember. Pens 11, 136. We don't know what this means, right? What does weight mean? I haven't seen any speed thing. Is it who plays first? I haven't explained any of these mechanics. What does power mean? Is it for punching or in general? This has less weight, more power. Let's hit points comparatively. Uh, when, purchase, when purchasing one's reports, I'll advise you to prioritize hit points and defense rating at first. In case of the one's body power output also comes into play. High power output lets you load heavier gear, which is usually more powerful. Hmm. Oh, if you get too heavy, you can't move. Okay. Alright, buy and equip. Thank you. No, it's not buy and equip, I guess.
Buy and equip. I already bought it. What? That's weird. That's nice. You can name it too. Everything is buying equip. Not as weird. Not sure why that happened. And I sell it? Yeah, I had one. I don't know why I couldn't sell it. I couldn't use it. Doesn't matter. I guess. Cast the liar. Okay, so there are some base stuff, it seems. And we level up. This is a game. All right. I guess uh, this is a good uh, place to end this first look to show what the game plays like. It is rather basic, it feels, but uh, I like that there is a lot of story. I'm not sure if the story is going to be any good. At least there is some, again, unlike other games, which won't be mentioned. I still own something on the quality that Battletech had, which was a fantastic game. I really, really liked it. And I would love to see something uh, of that quality again. Well, we'll see. For now, thank you for watching. As usually, feel free to leave me a comment, subscribe, like, etc. You know the drill. I'll be back soon with more. Bye-bye.